congratulations to the Philadelphia Phillies going back to the postseason for the first time in 11 years. Sam Fold joining High Heat now, the general manager of the Fightin' Phils. And Sam, congratulations to you. Is that proverbial monkey off of your back? <laughs> well, it feels like it. I, I know we got a lot of work to do still, but it, it feels tremendous to to snap, you know, an 11-year streak longest streak in the game uh, thanks to the Mariners and their their playoff berth uh, last week. So it feels great. It feels great. I think we can all kind of breathe, um, appreciate what we've what we've done for the city and what we've done for ownership and all the Phillies fans out there. It's it's a really it's a really big moment. Uh, a lot a lot of work to do, but we can certainly celebrate this and enjoy it. And does it seem fitting, Sam, that Aaron Nola, Nola the longest tenured Philly, uh, you know, takes perfection, flirts with perfection into deep into the ball game, and then Eflin, the second longest tenured Philly, holds it out for you guys? I mean, it just kind of seems a bit poetic, does it not? Yeah, it really did. Um, don't know if you can draw it up much better. It was uh, e even the way that the, the the Brewers game went down. It was nice to to have our game be the the clinching moment and be able to celebrate coming off of a win and just a, a dominant, dominant performance from Knowles. I don't know if I've ever seen him pitch better than he did last night. That's a that's a really good Houston uh, lineup that he he got through and his stuff was was top end and his command was top end and it was really cool and and just just you know in a similar light. Like Eflin has battled a lot of uh you know injury adversity uh this year in particular and there were parts of the year where we weren't sure if he'd be picking up a baseball again for us. So fact that he was able to uh, close it down in, in, a, in a high leverage moment like that was was just really cool, you know, and then having guys like Reese uh, celebrate on the field, uh, another long tenure Philly and, you know, JT and Segura, uh, those guys getting into the playoffs for the first time, just just a really fantastic moment last night. And that brings me to my next question, talking about guys that have been in the big leagues for quite some time, but have never tasted this postseason experience. What's your message to them about embracing the moment and that yet the job is still not done? Yeah, you don't, you know, I think, you know, having having as a player experienced a few of those celebrations, you, you don't ever want to uh, take those for granted. So just you, you want them to enjoy it. They, they earn the right to enjoy that. Every single guy in that room did. They all contributed. Um, but yeah, I think we'll do a good job of, of enjoying this and, and, um, you know, but being prepared for, for either St. Louis or New York in, uh, in three days. And then we, we know we've got a lot more business to, to take care of. That brings me to my next question. You're pretty good at the segues here, Sam. <laughs> All right. So right now you're sitting at the number one or excuse me, the number six seed. Is there a preference if you think about your history in New York or playing other teams? Is there a preference about staying in that seated spot? I'll tell you what, we've done a lot of sort of rooting and um, a lot of feels like gone gray and lost some hair over the last month. <laughs> I think collectively as an organization, we're, we're done sort of rooting and be playing the role of, of fan. So whatever happens, happens. We'll, we'll be we'll be prepared to, to take on, you know, two really good teams between St. Louis and New York. They can certainly beat you in different ways. I mean, it's, you know, and the, the prospect of seeing Scherzer and DeGrom in a, in a short series is, is daunting, but I mean, St. Louis is a tremendous club and they're getting obviously tremendous performance, um, you know, at the quarter infield positions and, and can beat you in a lot of ways. So no, no, it'll be challenging one way or the other and we'll, we'll take whatever we get. The good news is, though, you're pitching really good at the right time. Aaron Nola, Ranger Suarez, Zach Wheeler have all looked incredibly impressive. Is this the best you've seen them look collectively? And are you thankful, of course, that it's uh, going into this postseason when they all seem to be connecting? It does feel like we got a, a lot of good positive momentum there. Um, you know, R Ranger is getting through his first full season as a, as a starting pitcher in the big leagues. and. Um, you know his stuff looks crisp, and he's. I think we're we're excited about him potentially helping us in the in the postseason. And and yeah, the way that Nola threw the ball last night, I mean, that, that's really really exciting. Um, it was just cool to see him take the ball by the horns and and uh, and dominate. So if he's going to pitch like that, I think you take your chances uh, against anybody. And Wheels is progressing in the right direction. His last performance in DC was was fantastic. He did exactly what we needed him to do, and. Um, yeah, we, we think that the, between those three guys, we've got um, about as any good top top three starting pitchers in the game. 
Yeah, an ERA under three. He's been tremendous for sure. Okay, let's talk about your managerial position there with Rob Thompson. Under him, as you know, 65 and 44. At what time, Sam, does it become appropriate, if it does, to take off the interim tag? Yeah, it's just something that, you know, Dave and, and myself and the rest of the front office, we've we've sort of acknowledged that, that we'll just take this one step at a time and just really thankful for the way that Thompson stepped in and provided – you know, a ton of steadiness, uh, especially, especially in a situation where I think that calm, steady approach is really valuable. Um, he's, he's navigated the ups and downs of the last, you know, four plus months really well. He communicates at a high level, um, not afraid to take chances. He's done a lot of really good things for us. And we'll, um, you know, we'll, we'll assess that situation when, when things, um, you know, hopefully we get through a long playoff run. All right, win and you're in. You did just that. Congratulations to you and the Phillies. You were headed back to the postseason for the first time in 11 years. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Sam.